Hey guys, welcome back to Ultimate Chip 5. Uh, for those that were wondering, the last video was actually uh, cut off. I, I explained in the description of the last video vaguely, but um, I'll get I'll get to the details as I play this level. But we're on Infernal Sokuban, and this level has a pretty uh, pretty good Sokoban puzzle, I have to say. Um, and I like the time limit of 666. Uh, okay, so basically, when I got to this level in the last video, um, basically, it was, at, it was like around 2 in the morning when I recorded the last video. It was like 1.50 by the time I got to this level. It was past two and the last level was this um well was that seeing red level with the red with the red keys locks and the teeth monsters and uh, it was kind of like a i guess it was a i consider it a, 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 a melee level or a melee level so um Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. So anyway, my mindset was just so was so involved, or got really into the um, the melee side of, of it of things, and so I was not expecting a Soko band right afterwards. So my mindset was still in like this dodging uh, monsters phase when that wasn't the case. So. Yeah, I, I ended up being stuck in this room, this room by itself, for almost 20 minutes, and I didn't want people to watch that because it wasn't worth watching anymore. So I stopped it and just went to sleep after that, and then that's why I decided to cut out the last video because, or the la half, last half of the previous video because, well. I'm not going to make anyone sit through 18 minutes of accomplishing absolutely nothing. And the commentary even wasn't worth it. So, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, this this Sokoban is very well crafted. I don't think this is a, um, like, from anything in particular. I don't think. Well, let's see if I can pull something off here. Um, maybe? Hold on a second. I mean, right now it's almost one in the morning, but I'm not nearly as tired. I took like two naps today, so I'm pretty, pretty okay for the most part. And plus, I'm, I'm all, I was obviously expecting this level, so, yeah. Okay, so, I guess do that. I don't see any harm in that. I think I might have it. Yeah, I think I do. Okay. Wait, hold on. Um... No. Yeah, okay. Finally, got that room. That took a while, but it wasn't too bad. Okay, I can finally go through this, and I can actually enter the second room now, which I haven't seen at all, so... Okay. Uh, 
Okay, going to the right, I won't get anywhere. Um, I don't know if going up is right or correct. I wish I can see a little bit more of this. Well, if I mess this one up, I'm just going to skip to getting to this room. So It won't be problems for the video, but it will be a problem for me. <laughs> so, um, Okay, let's see. Yeah, it looks like I need to go left. And I can go around. And there's a toggle button right here. Does that change anything? Oh, okay, it goes to the exit. Okay, so these trap buttons go there. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm hoping this is going to be a little easier. It doesn't look like it. Okay, let's put you right there. I don't think I need you right now, right this second. This might be a very easy, easy puzzle, and I'm just not getting it right away. Okay, I need to remember it needs to go up against this wall at some point. Okay, I don't know if it's just me, but I I think I'll be okay if I push this one above me right to the right, and then this one to the right of me right here goes right here, like going through up this and stuff. I don't know. I know Jeffrey... Uh, messaged me over Skype after he watched the last video and he asked me why I was abruptly cut off and I explained to him that uh, I just shouldn't do Soko Bands late at night and he told me that it probably would have been a better idea if the Soko Bands could be done in any order and I, 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 I agree with you on that Uh, I'm just thinking. I'm just more concerned of restarting, and I don't. I don't want to restart. So, okay, let's just go for it. I mean, really, I don't see any harm in it. Go down here. This one can go right here. That's already four buttons out of the way. Push you down here. Now the problem is, I need. It, it looks very simple from here, but soak commands are deceiving. See, I can't push this one right here, right here. I should probably use the mouse for this. This block can't go right here because I need to get this block out. But that bottom block down there, right here, needs to go right here. But I'm, I'm trying to figure out which block goes to what. I know it's not straightforward like this to this, this to this, and then that somehow right there. Um, okay, hold on. I'm gonna get you right there, so I know there's a there's a loop. Okay. So 
goes. It just. I'm tempted to just go for it, but I don't know. Uh, man, this is very. It's deceiving. I like it, but I don't like it. It's one of those levels. Like, I, I love Sokoban puzzles as it is. This one, it's... I like the puzzles themselves, just the way it was... I guess the execution... Wasn't... Isn't... I'm, I guess I'm not a fan of the execution. and I already stated that, and Jeffrey even admitted that, so it's not bad to say that. Okay, I need to figure... I need to hurry this up. Okay, so I put... What will happen... Oh, you know what? I just freaking saw it. That goes there. That goes there. And this goes up. Okay. That took a lot longer than I wanted it to take, but thankfully I did not run out of time. That would have been a real bummer if I did. But Infernal Sokoman's done. That was a very, like I said, the Sokoman puzzles were were great. But just, yeah, I, I'm not gonna repeat myself a third time. You, you know how I feel. It's a good level though, and yeah. Just note to self: don't do Sokoman puzzles at two in the morning. That is not fun. Okay, Charcoal Cove. This level is. Just awesome. And I cannot express that enough. This level is just top notch, and I think I messed that up. Yes, I did. Bummer. Okay. So, first of all, let me give you kudos, Jeffrey, for the water gravel layout, because I am a complete sucker for this aesthetic. And, and I also have to give you credit for the name. Like the level title is epic as well. Alright, I, I have solved this before. For, um, CCLP4 recommendations. Though it, it's been... It's been a... I can't say a while. And I don't usually like ball patterns like, like this, but this is pretty straightforward. Okay, so... The red key was up... Red lock was up here. Okay, I was thinking that was going to be extremely easy. Okay. As far as issues with interruptions by my lovely cats in my room, I shouldn't have that many. If there's one thing we need more of, it's force form levels like this. Okay. Well, force floor, for, force floor levels in particular. I mean. Okay, I re I remember this part vaguely. Yeah. 
Okay, I, I just had to think for that about that for a second. So yeah, one thing about this level that I didn't uh, comprehend at first was I wasn't aware that Glider had to leave the room. I thought this water tile was just there for aesthetics, but it actually it leads it, that Glider goes to a uh, pink button. I think it is. Yeah, that's for the last chip. And my cat just so happened to push the mouse onto this, this recording area, which is lovely. Now, I think there's a hint in this level that I want to try to get to. I think I remember where it is. I think it's up here. So, yeah, I'm going to actually waste time to get to a hint, so... Don't mind me. If I remember right, all the blocks around here, like in these little spots, have fire under them. Yeah, they do. Except that's a cloner. So... Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to waste my time. But it's like right somewhere over there on the right side. Somewhere. So let's not waste time. But I am particularly sure it's there, so. Alright, Charcoal Cove is done. Great level once again, and yeah, that already has my check mark for stuff. Okay, blended Brussels sprouts. Oh, speaking of force four levels. Did I or did I not just say in that charcoal cove level? That we need more force four levels. Okay, what does that Oh, that pushed the toggle button. Okay. Oh. Now, I know this is one of the few occasions where Jeffrey actually didn't come up with a title. Are you serious? Okay, I could have saw that. Yeah, as you can see, my key impresses aren't the best. Yeah, I, I believe uh, this is like one one of the early levels of the set that was made. And it was actually showcased in the Skype CCPBC chat. And I believe Andrew Menzies named this level or suggested the title for Jeffrey. I, don't, I, I guess Jeffrey didn't, couldn't think of one. So, and then. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, this maze is cool. Yeah, did I did I or did I not say in the, some episode before that I, Jeffrey has a thing for nailing or the nail concept? Except this one doesn't use it that much. Alright, Blended Brussels Sprouts is done. The, yeah, that was a fun level to play. I, I really like that key room, though, so, yeah. Okay, your best nightmare. Okay, let's not goof around. I had to take a drink of, some, of uh, soda, and that, because I said soda... 
didn't specify a brand, though I'm pretty sure some of you can already guess what brand it is, if you know me well enough. Um... Oh. Oops. Okay, I'm assuming I'm trapped, so let's just... That's, I'm assuming that's a trap. Okay. So speaking of nightmares... Hmm. I'm not sure what that accomplished. That's okay, though. I don't know, maybe like a week ago, maybe a little over a week ago. Oh, nice. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a trap. It was like a little over a week ago. I, I had this dream, and it was one of those really short dreams. Oh, really? I must be missing the gimmick here. Like, do I need to lead the teeth elsewhere? I'm assuming so. And then I go and get the chips. I think that's what the gimmick is, so let's just go with that approach. But yeah, it was like a couple weeks ago. And, oh, do you go in here? Okay, let's, let's see what goes on with that. Oh. Okay. That was very unexpected. Yeah, like a couple weeks ago, I had this dream. It was like it was a really short dream. I get it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll, uh, you got me, Blob. You got me. That was really stupid, but you got me. So, yeah, let me actually try to finish this damn story now. But. I don't know. It was like maybe like. Anyway, I had this dream that I went on this date with the, with some with some girl that one of my friends hooked me up with. I didn't know who she was or anything, and it was very strange. Like it was going good and everything, and like. Like, in the middle of the day, she, like, took off somewhere, I think to the restroom or something. Anyway. And, uh, the next thing I know, she comes back and all of a sudden, she, like, her whole entire body is infested with, like, parasites and these really massive insects of some kind. And it was, like really freaky like they were crawling all over her and it was very weird yeah it, i like i literally woke up freaking out like that's like the first legit nightmare i i had in a long time so it's not like i get like chronic nightmares all the time but that was just really freaky okay i need to get the red key somehow but i'm not seeing it it's in there but i need all the chips first where am i missing chips at Oh, in that toggle room, probably. Yep. No, don't go down here. Okay, that took a little bit of timing. Okay, now I can get this. No, 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 no. My, I almost slipped on my keyboard.
<clears throat> okay, I am assuming to have that one. Yeah. Alright. I'm assuming it's one of these, uh, it's that concept I came up with, that no skin off my teeth concept. Except you need to blow up the bomb. Nope. You goofed up teeth. There we go. Okay. Oh, you need to come back. So, uh, it's... I just need to get those teeth to the, uh... To the bomb now, right? That shouldn't be a problem. Okay. I, I was worried I had to use that bug for something, and I probably had to for something back then. But, oh well. Okay, your best nightmare is, is done. That was a very interesting level. And very different design approach, too. Aw, oh, I'm playing this. Braving the Blizzard. This level is... I love it. I should probably change my recommendation to a double check for this one. Yeah, I, I love just about everything with this level. Like, there's n not really a way to die unless you intentionally not get the flippers, which I don't know why someone wanted to do that, but it wouldn't surprise me. But it's it's an ice maze for one, and I mean, I, I like ice mazes, just I used to hate them a lot, but I've grown to appreciate them if they're moderately used right, and this is a, like a perfect use of them, or perfect ice maze usage, so. And the blue walls, everyone knows how I feel about blue walls. Even though some people don't agree with me, that's okay. Okay, go this way. But yeah, this level is a ton of fun. I really hope this gets into CCL before. Like, not if I well, I wouldn't say one. If I had to pick one Jeffrey level, but if I had to pick one Jeffrey level, this wouldn't be it. But it would be. Definitely be a top 10 con contestant. I can say that much. But, okay, now I just need to get to the exit. Okay, you're up there. Alright, Braving the Blizzard is done. That's. Totally fun level. I love everything. Of, like I said, the aesthetics, the design, the maze, the everything. It's just the. It could have been one of those. Oh, you, like the water didn't have to be there or anything, but the fact it is makes it even better. And hey, look, another ice level. It's no, it's no big deal. And more blue walls. So I'm definitely gonna play this. So, I was wondering when I was gonna get to this level. It's been on the. Uh, The CCLP or the or Jeffrey's CCLP4 submissions list for quite a while, and I haven't touched it, so I was wondering when I was getting to this level. Now this now this blue wall pattern is pretty is more well, just the blue wall pattern, not the not the level, but the pattern is very exact to the one I used, or one I used for one of my levels, called a uh, air shaft, and it's it's basically an, uh, an ice maze, but kind of not used the best, but 
it I liked it but whatever okay I have a blue key so I can go down there get more chips first Okay, for a snow themed, or for snow being in the title, there's not a lot of ice in this. And we saw maybe two patches. I didn't even realize there was a glider in there. There are skates though, so I'll accept that. I probably shouldn't have to. I should probably shouldn't be pressing every blue wall, but I do. I don't. I really don't know why I like blue walls a lot. I, I have. I have to be honest. I really don't know why. I mean, maybe it's. It's not really because no one else likes them. It's more like a. Okay, I have the skates, but that didn't accomplish anything in that part. Wasn't there another ice part up here somewhere? I thought, I thought there was. There's flippers. Uh, was I supposed to use that block? For something? Like, can I go anywhere else at all? No, it's a complete dead end this way. Okay, that's that's anticlimactic, but it doesn't change anything over here either. So the only thing I can think of is I was supposed to approach it differently. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I liked blue walls when I in the original game. Like when I got the chip mine. I mean, I, I just I love the I love the way they look. I don't I don't know what it was, but I I just did. So, and it's just it never really changed. Like I've always liked blue walls ever since. And yeah. Okay, maybe. Oh, I, yeah, I pushed that block. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm very surprised I'm remembering where, where these blue walls are. Okay, now I can go push it. I'll press that tank button later. Okay, they were both real. Okay, that's, that's strange. Huh. I don't know, I, I get satisfaction when I oof up against all these blue walls. Like, I don't know what it, what, what it is. It's like, I, I, I really can't explain it. So... Yeah, I should probably stop recording. It's been a while now. That's okay. The last video was short. <clears throat> You're welcome for that, by the way. <clears throat> okay, I knew I had to wait to push, press this tank. There we go. Now I can progress onward to more blue wall uncoverings. I really should think of stuff to talk about. I I, I can hear the boredom in my in my voice. <laughs> it's it's embarrassing.
Uh, oh well. <clears throat> like it's weird. I always get excited, or not excited, but I always like get like, oh, I'm I can't wait to record a video or the next video, or I can't wait to pl I can't wait to wait to play. Let me talk right. Uh, I can't wait to play the set some more. And when I do, it's like, oh, I don't have many things to talk about. <laughs> so. Okay, don't push that block up. I most likely will need it. And another blue key. At least these, those blue keys are placed pretty specifically. Okay, it's obvious where this goes. Still haven't gone through the teleport. And I'm, yeah, I got, really? That's not fair. I had no idea that was even fake. Really? Yeah, I'm going to skip to that. That's wow. I wasn't I wasn't expecting that. So Okay. So, we're back to this part and I know not to open that one to the left of me. So Okay. There's no harm in checking that one. I still haven't gone through the teleport, so that's still a mystery to me. Okay. I'm afraid to, to mess that glider up. I don't want to mess, really, so... Alright, let's see what's through this teleport. It looks like the rest of these chips... Hold up, there's extras? So... Can I get these ones? Oh, I missed those. Okay. So there's... Or is that just outside aesthetics? To mess with my head. Huh. Okay. I, I, I'm guessing that's the case. Then I, I know Jeffrey's done that a few times with some past levels he's made, so I, that wouldn't surprise me. But Snow Big Deal is done, and that was a pretty fun level. Like I said, blue walls are love and life, but though that glider part was kind of mean, but that's okay. So, with that, I think I'm going to end it here. <coughs> Played some fun levels. I'm very glad I got that one Sokoban level out of the way. And wow, would you look at that. Yet another blue wall level. Three in a row, Jeffrey. You're really making me a happy person right now. Okay, so we'll take on Realm of Zero Dreams and some more levels in the next video. So I'll see you guys later.